is entitled Techniques, Motions, and Applications for a Reason. This DVD is about helping drummers with their bass drum playing. You won't find the typical, hey, watch my chops that some other DVDs offer, but you will find the answers to why so many drummers struggle with their feet. We all know the three main foot motions are heel down, heel up, and heel toe, but Learning the transitions between these motions and developing the techniques is the key to enable us as drummers to play our bass drums in the same way we play our hands. Also, for the first time on DVD, you can now learn the molar whipping motion for the feet, which allows us to pull accents out of the roll. For this DVD, simply go to www.timwaterson.net and click on the link and it'll take you directly to the 2312 Music site. Thanks for listening and God bless. Hi, this is Tim Watterson and welcome to Bass Drum Techniques. This video is for single bass and double bass players. It doesn't matter if you play a single pedal, a double pedal, or two bass drums. The techniques I'm going to be discussing and demonstrating are applicable for all drummers. For bass drum technique, let's start at the bottom. Let's work on our posture because I believe that if you can develop a good posture, you're going to be able to have a long and fruitful career playing music. One of the disadvantages of practicing on the floor is you're only working the muscle on the upstroke. When you pick up your foot, you work the front part of your calf. When you let it fall, unfortunately, it's just gravity. All right, now that we've warmed up on the exercise ball and we've learned a little bit about balance, let's work on some exercises that we can use on and off the drum set uh, for practicing to develop control. One of the things I really like is when you do an exercise and it transitions into something else. Like if you do one pattern with your right foot and throw in the left foot, it turns into another pattern. So this gives you an actually... All right, once you get these, then of course, apply these heel up as well. Something like that. Now, the thing about playing it like that is it all has, it's one dimensional, it has a driving forward type of a sound. Listen to the difference when we play the left, right, right triplet. A lot of email the things I found about the swivel technique is it allows you to go faster and generally takes the tension off your leg for playing long periods of time and for your drummers that want to play you know really fast music so my suggestion would be if you're gonna play a blast beat which is just a roll between the hands and the feet and you incorporate the the swivel with your foot you can get a with our left foot. So we're just basically going to do a roll between our left hand and our left foot. And to keep the momentum going, I use a swivel. So now we're going to keep the roll going like this. When you do this, you'll get a triplet between the heel toe and the snare like this.
handful of players, you can get a roll going between your hi-hat and your snare, snare drum in virtually the same way we did with the left foot. So we're going to go like this. Hi-hat and snare drum, and we're going to try and get an even sound. And then we can add, once again, the uh, patterns with our right foot. Constant release is what Steve Smith does, which is basically playing a toe stroke and a heel stroke and alternating the two, trying to make it one smooth motion. Slow down the heel toe and go. Or we can shuffle. It'll be the first time it's actually been recorded on video, so wish me luck. Use the glide technique unless I'm playing extremely fast tempos because it takes the tension off of my muscles. When I can't go any faster, I just simply glide my foot like this. So. Do the same thing as with our hands, we do triplet. Up on the techniques. If I want to develop control, I'll play generally heel down. If I want to nice. more power, I'm going to throw the legs in if I want to get. Then I started, of course, if I want to play the doubles, I'll play the accents with a heel toe. A lot of work. So let's try going, let's do the swivel at the same thing, a little easier. that is. The finest skins players in Edmonton have turned out at the Metro for a cymbal-smashing shootout.